This radio here is the General Electric model P865B. It's a updated version of the model P865 which came out in 1961. This uh, 1962 model looks slightly different. They changed the grill material. This one has a uh, kind of punched aluminum grill and the uh, earlier model had a, you know, kind of woven mesh uh, grill. The front here is made out of chrome plated die cast metal. The chrome on this example is in pretty good shape. There's only a few tiny spots of, you know, bubbling, but no real pitting or any other significant damage. This is a fairly uncommon set. It's much rarer than the model P780 uh, AM only radio, which this set looks a lot uh, uh, looks pretty similar to. I'll set it to FM to start. The uh, band switch mechanism on this set is pretty crazy. This lever here moves a uh, phenolic bar that runs diagonally pretty much from one corner of the radio to the other uh... it's covered in contacts i've never seen such a complicated arrangement on uh... any other AM FM set looks like they tried to use you know uh... pretty much all the transistors in both the AM and FM circuit so they have to switch everything over oh, let's hear it play Oh, put out the antenna first. There's a nice gold plated swivel there. together at noon. It's just like the lunch hour. Hope take us there on Cool 106.7. How would you like to win an iPad? Us. How about this matter of being hopeless? There's a tone control. There's a light as well. All right, let's hear it on AM. about as loud as it'll play with, uh, without distorting. They probably need some new capacitors, but this set is kind of a pain to work on. Because of the uh, heft of these sets, probably over 10 pounds, the handles on this model are often broken. Same with the P780. This one was glued and then had a uh, zip tie attached over it. 
It's otherwise in fairly good shape. I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't lift it up by the handle. This model has a fairly annoying battery compartment design. It's a bit of a struggle to uh, add or remove the batteries, which is why you often find uh, the battery compartment pretty rotted out on this model. But this one's in good shape. It's an intact label. You can see the set was made in uh, the USA in Utica, New York. Not that far from here. It runs on 6D cells. It's a pretty nice radio. It's not the uh, you know, most spectacular performer, at least this particular example isn't, but it, it's pretty good. I think it could use a tune-up. You saw that when I uh, turned AFC on and off, the uh, you know station was on moved pretty substantially. It would jump from you know one station to the next. It does sound better with AFC on though. I actually have a second example of this model. Uh, but I'll just show you real quick. If you're not interested in acquiring one of these, then uh, you can just stop watching right now. And thanks for watching. If you are interested, I'm going to be putting this one up for sale soon. It's not as nice as the one I just showed you, but it's still a very good example. The only real damage to this one is a, a crack which is nearly impossible to see that I glued and uh, the usual cracking of the handle. There was also some damage to the knobs themselves. Uh, I think it was the tuning knob. Yeah, it was, it was broken and I had to repair it. And you can see it's not the most perfect repair job. It's a little bit, you know, uh, at an angle, but that's not visible from the front. The, re the repair that is, and there's some minor pitting. But overall, it's a, like I said, a nice example. Let's hear it play. The AFC is a little less jumpy on this example, actually. To go. He needs to go sit and wait. Well, here, here's I, I the think thing. He needs to, I, <laughs> tags extra to qualified buyers. And four thirty fourteen. Visit us for details. Ten is in good shape on this one too. Battery compartment uh, has some damage, but it still makes good contact. You can see the label is pretty messed up, but it is there, and it's not rusted out on the bottom or anything. When I put this one up for sale, I'll uh, you know make a mention of that in the description.